Welcome back everybody, it's time to Lockdown Arena, and we are switching things up today. We are going to be going back into Best of One to test out a new deck, well, not a new deck, an old deck that uh, we're bringing back out of the woodworks here with a couple additions from War of the Spark. That's right, Merfolk Burn. It's back, and it's uh, hopefully going to be stronger than ever with the addition of Augur of Bolas. I've been wanting to play this card in some kind of deck, and I figure... Burn's the one to do it. We've got lots of instants and sorceries that we'll be able to dig three deep into our library and pull out from. Uh, and we've also got uh, Samut Sprint, a nice little uh, instant for one. Target creature gets plus two, plus one, and gains haste until end of turn, and we get to scry. So a good little addition there. I want to add four of, maybe, but I don't think it's an absolutely necessary. I'll go over the list. It's kind of shoddy right now. Mana base is still screwed up. I need more rares. I don't have any rares. I've got 14 mythics, no rares. I don't use my mythics at all. Uh, but we've got five uh, islands, six mountains, four is a guild gates, four steam vents, one sulfur falls. That's all I have. Sorry, I know. I need to get three more. Uh, for the rest of our stuff, again, we've got four Augur of Bolas, four Shaper's Apprentice, four Silver Gale Dep, and the four Tricksters with four Mist Cloak Heralds, two Water Trap Weavers, just for a nice little tappy tap. And then again, we got Samut Sprint, just two of them, Banefire, one of our finishers in the deck to win the game out, two Lightning Strikes, three Runamucks, uh, this will be our beefy buff, plus three, plus three, gains Trample time to turn. And Risk Factor, getting our card draw going along with Silver Gill Adept, two of those, Skewer the Critics, we got three, and Wizards Lightning because we are playing with a majority of Wizards. So that's the deck list, let me know what you guys think, and we'll go in and see how we play this. I did play earlier with it, went up against uh, Control, fought against four different Teferis, Killed three of them. They kept bringing them back, bringing them out, bringing them in. I stayed in the game, and then I messed up. We had to. We all we needed to win was draw into a bane fire. The game went like 20 minutes long. I drew into my last bane fire. I made it uncounterable. Hit him for five. They were at two life. I hit him for five, so it was uncounterable. And or they were at uh, what were they at? They were at four. They were at four health. Hit him for five. And what did they do? <laughs> they had no creatures on the board or anything. They did Veraska's Contempt on their own Teferi, exiling it, gaining two life, going to one, getting out of range. That was my only other way to win the game. It was pretty sad. Uh, it, was, it was a pretty harsh loss. <laughs> loss. This hand we can work with. We can work with it. Can't play anything till turn two. So we'll bring this in tapped. Pass to them. So let's hope I don't screw up the banfire. It's been a while since I've practiced with this deck or anything, so let's not make the same mistake again. We're going up against a nice little green pelt collector. Let's lead off with Silvergill. Reveal Shapers. And I figured, uh, what better time to play Burn? Wow, I don't know. I just lost my train of thought there. I, I, I thought... There's no better time than to play some blue-red Merfolk Burn when we've got the Game of Thrones finale coming up this Sunday. If you guys are excited for that, leave a like on the video. Let me know in the comments who you think's going to die, who's going to take the throne. The finale's coming up, and uh, we're playing some Fire and Ice. Playing some Fire and Ice to celebrate the final conclusion to this epic 10-year-long series. All right, what do I want to do here? Probably, let's do this. We'll do Shapers. We'll uh, go ahead and we'll give it haste. Augur, nice. What is this doing to me? One damage to the player, non-creature spell. Well, that's not great for us. We'll go in here. They're going to block. That's fine. We'll get Pelt Collector off the floor. I'm fine with that. Good old Gruel. So let me know what you guys think. Uh about this deck. Uh, I would like to clean it up a lot more over time once I get my rares back up. Augur Bolas next turn will be uh, nice so we'll be able to close out this game nicely I feel like once we got that Wizard's Lightning. And we'll be able to play it all too. Probably go Augur. Maybe even go Shaper actually. I might go Shaper into a double Lightning. Ooh, what are you? Discard a land to any target. 
Turn a tap land you control to its owner's hand. Huh, okay. Well, Augur Bolus gets out of range of that. Uh, I think we're still going to go this route. To damage. And... Pass a turn, just in case we need to deal with anything else. We'll take some damage from Cinder Vines. I'm not too worried about it, though. If we need to take out this Living Twister, we will, but... I don't know if it's absolutely necessary. They do gotta deal with some stuff. And they gotta discard a land, right? Yeah, discard a land, and then return one of those to their hand tapped. Okay. What else you got? Tap out for me. That deals damage equal to... You don't control. Sure. Pass to the attack. Pass to end. Wizard's lightning. Boom. To your face. Yep, that's fine. Boom, to your face. Take some damage, but mm, that's uh, it's nice. But uh, I don't think we can really close it off with that yet. Risk factor, we'll take it. Swing in. If only. Okay, cool. First win with uh, Merfolk Burn or Burnfolk. All right, let's run it back. Let's run it back. I'm actually pretty excited to play this because I was getting pretty down and outs about all our losses we've been taking from Simic and Mono Blue Merfolk. They are, well, Merfolk's just not well positioned right now with this new crazy meta. There is a lot going on and the Merfolk hate is real right now. So many things can take our board out. It's pretty nasty. Oof. Double, is it Gilgake and uh, three Augur of Bulls? Yeah, no, I can't keep that hand. This one I can keep. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll keep it on top. Okay, Firebrand. Well, Augur's gonna come in handy. It's pretty uh, fireproof. Pass to them. <clears throat> Hopefully uh, my recording's catching the audio. My headset died, so it's not playing through the same source as it usually does. Alright, okay, let's go... Let's go Augur. Hold our board up a little bit. Ooh, bust. Dang, that sucks. We're looking pretty good. Three lands. Alright, there goes Bolus. That's the one thing that'll be able to take him out, so... Can't really say I'm surprised. Might take a fat L here really quickly. This deck has never been super, super good. Uh, but it does get some wins. Hmm, how do I want to run this? Everything else is so weak. I guess we'll run Augur again. But man, is this deck fun to play, that's for sure. Another... Bust. I actually, we, we should have not done that because we already knew two of the cards. Silly me. So we only really went one deep, undiscovered. So that was pretty silly. I do want to establish a board with this guy, but... Yeah, we probably could have went Silver Gill and just drew another Silver Gill or something. Chain Whirler. Alright, we'll at least see. If we had played Shaper or Silver Gill, that thing would just be Toast from Chain Whirler anyways. But now they can shock this guy. Yeah, we might just move on to the next game here. They're hitting us for probably quite a bit next turn. Steam Vents. I can't even take the damage from this. Uh... Trickster. 
I go to seven. I take three. I tap the chain whirler. Go to four. That's rough. We'll try it. This is our last turn, pretty much. If we can't survive this turn, if we don't get a good draw next turn, it's it's all over. Wizard's Lightning to my face. Bringing us to four. Light up the stage. Going for the win. Banefire. Yeah, okay. You're good. I'm good. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. We'll move on. Pretend like that didn't happen. Stupid mono red. I understand. We're playing red now, too. I get it. Burn is fun. It is fun. But at least splash something. Splash some merfolk. Then you're really having fun. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep this. It's unfortunate we got the guild gate. Oh, another model red, huh? Alright, well, you know what? How do I want to run this? Bring it in tapped. Try to set up for uh, Trickster. See if we can trap one of these guys, maybe. Pass to the attack. I doubt this will work. Uh, should have actually done it on the Steamkin. Shock. It's fine. Either way, I was still taking uh, three. Let's go Shaper's Apprentice. We'll set up for Wizard's Lightning. Pass to third. Take out their steamkin. Passing to me. I'll run it like that. I'm surprised they didn't play anything. They must just have a bunch of burn in their hand, which isn't good. We'll drop our mist cloak, start going underneath. Swing for damage. Hold up Wizard's Lightning. Oof. Trample haste, huh? Well, we can kill it. I can double block and kill this thing. It might actually be worth it. Ah, man. I don't like giving up my Mist Cloak Heralds. are tapped out though. I want to see him again. Please and thank you. All right. Um Let's set up with Trickster. Oh my gosh, they've got another one. That's insane. All right. Well, we got Trickster to tap it down at least. For one turn, skewer the critics. That's not extremely helpful here. We got past the turn. Block this sucker again. Okay, fine with that. Go to ten. I'm going to block with Trickster because I want the extra defense against the Trample and we can do Augur and still Shaper's Apprentice to go overhead. So we'll do this. Oh, Skewer the Critics is a fudge. Skewer the Critics is Sorcery. Forgot about that. See, I told you guys, I have not played this deck in a long enough time. Forgetting what everything is. More more of this, huh? Okay. Well, none of this is great.
Let's search. Take the Bane Fire. It's not going to help us now. Pass the turn. We're going to need the blockers. What did you get? Can you win? He could win. If he can take out one of my creatures, he can win. All day. Do it. Do it. There's not much to think about. Just attack. You're red. You don't think. There you go. Alright. We lost. GG. Alright, we'll do one more here. See if we can grab uh, one more win. I just got a bunch of coins because I finally am playing red and all my stuff has been for red uh, achievements. Also, I know I've been like, I missed yesterday's upload and I'm uploading pretty late today. I'm trying to get back on track, just been very busy. This is not good. These Is It Guild Gates kill me, man. What is this? Double Is It Guild Gates. It's a good hand, too. We're going to keep it. It's a good hand. Uh, hopefully we'll just draw into uh, another mana source that we can start playing some stuff on. Alright, Mono Blue Tempo. Not exactly what we were looking for there. Opt in now. Okay. Well, if we can draw into another red source here, just anything, okay, we're not gonna. It's fine. I'm just gonna pass the turn. We got three tricksters, right? See what we can do. See if our stuff resolves. Oh, that sucks. All right, then we gotta, we gotta do this now. Not gonna let them have another card draw. If we can help it... I would have liked to have traded with the Petromander, but not going to happen right now. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that works. We'll lose that. Okay. Oh, boy. Let's let's go trickster again with wizard's lightning up. Good, good. I like this. Oh, that was at the end of our turn. Oops. I thought I already passed to them. Oops. So it resolves, so we can kill it. <laughs> All right, out it goes. Take your opt and be gone. Another curious. Yeah, that's why we wanted to do Trickster on their turn. It's unfortunate. Another land would be great. We can actually maybe start attacking in or just dropping a Silver Gill Adept or a Bolus. While holding up Trickster. Chart, of course. Alright, they're tapping themselves out. They're getting the card draws. Perfect. Alright, so how do we want to run this? Silvergill? Uh, no, I think we're going to go Bolus and try to find another removal spell. And we bust. Alright, fair enough. We'll start attacking here. Pass to them. I 
Let's see if this resolves. I feel a counterspell coming. We gotta try. They have enough? Oh, he is so ready to pump this guy. Shoot. Mmm. Shoot. Okay, then what is it for? He's at eight. Yeah, he has the pump all day. That sucks. Oh, but wait. Oh, we took away his ability, right? I think I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna double back just in case. Right? He can't poke him. I took away his abilities. Yeah, I did that right. Alright. Good. Good, good. Tempest Gin. We can deal with that. I know we can. Well, let's go Silvergill. Draw us a card. I think it's a land coming up next, right? Yep, land. Alright, cool. Swing in. Let's take out the gin if we can. No spell pierce, no spell pierce, no spell pierce. Ah. <laughs> we had to go for it. We did. We are on a... Oh, gosh. Yeah, we're on a hefty clock here. That does not help us. But we do have a blocker. We got one more turn in us unless they counter this. Okay. Uh, pass the turn. Oh my gosh. GG. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't want to see it. <laughs> Three Tempest Gens. We did what we could. <laughs> Alright, we didn't get our other win, but I want to play this some more because I'm excited to play it. I'm in the mood to play some some burn folk. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more of the Merfolk burn, leave a like and subscribe, and we will be playing this more next week. We've got a Call of Duty coming up tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. I think we're doing some hard point. And we've got our second video in our War of the Spark booster box cracking. You don't want to miss it. The first video, if you haven't seen it already, go check it out. I'll leave it a, a link in the comments. It was pretty insane. You're not going to want to miss the next one. So stay tuned for that, and we will see you guys in the next video.